this is hell on earth bro imagine game packs stuff packs expansion packs kits and then the sims 3 store in the sims 5 that is it's hell like i don't know what else to say like how do you like what like bro oh my goodness it, it just doesn't stop and i find it very funny when this news circulated they went and pulled the listing they went and pulled it so that's why you know this is true what is up guys this is your boy superior simmer to have some more information regarding the sims 5 aka project renee if you guys like videos discussions let's plays news updates please hit the sub button and if you enjoyed this video please hit the like button i greatly appreciate it let's get into the content shout out to the headford hen on twitter he is the plug when it comes to sims news he posted a career listing for the sims 5 project grenade and it's going to be free to play uh two months back i made a video talking about the subscription stuff um it was like a bug that happened with the sims 4 people had to pay a subscription to play the sims 4 and everyone was just kind of like what the hell is going on but you know obviously it was a bug it wasn't supposed to be like that because uh the sims 4 is free now a lot of people in the comments including myself were kind of jokingly saying that this was them trying to kind of set up for the sims 5 to be you know it's like subscription based thing now again this is free to play so obviously it wouldn't be subscription based and i know you're thinking well you know it's free to play right so we're not actually paying for the game itself but obviously with games that are free to play there's always going to be dlc and like you know season passes and all that stuff um if you guys don't know in the sims 3 we have the sims 3 store and you could use sim points to buy um you know just different stuff within the game or you can go on the website itself and buy like different objects um there's like extra dlc content uh new hairstyles and clothing and like new worlds um i thought the sims 3 store was pretty cool but it was definitely a micro transaction thing like it was definitely money grabby with the sims 5 being free to play um it's going to be obvious that they're going to want to make money off this game so what are they going to do they're going to open their own store and do all this other stuff um reading the listing here it talks about promoting the game building roadmaps um advertising content and having its own in-game marketplace of content so obviously when i read that i'm thinking of the sims 3 store and i'm not gonna lie i think having the sims 3 store and you know the sims 4 business model of giving us kits and game packs and stuff packs and expansion packs with the sims 5 i think that is a recipe for disaster we all know the sims 4 is very very expensive only the rich people can play this game unfortunately and i think having a marketplace store with um you know dlc is is signs for trouble bro and i feel like this is going to kind of uh you know bring down the franchise uh to the bottom of the pits of hell because it's like who's really going to be out here supporting this i feel like this is the worst move they could have done and again i feel like everything they do isn't about the players anymore it's all about money now shout out to the panda bay she made a video called the dark side of the sim store and it's erratic community it's a really good video from start to finish i don't want to spill too much um i feel like you guys will really like it so please go over there just subscribe to her okay she makes really good content please but yeah and honestly like i'm not surprised by this just because in the era that we are in now dlc is such a thing like back then like in the sims 3 era it wasn't as bad um i feel like the sims was always like that though you know not a lot of games were doing dlc for dlc but with the sims that's kind of like it it's thing and it was cool because you know people were excited to get new packs obviously now the hype for packs with the sims 4 isn't as hype as it is i i could tell like even with the horse ranch stuff like, the community is very divided um i don't feel that hypeness or energy that i got with growing together with this new pack a lot of games do it nowadays so it would make sense for like the sims franchise to kind of jump on that trend just because it's what makes money and that's the first thing that ea cares about it's money to be honest that's the only thing they care about and i feel like a lot of players are gonna have issue with this because again the game is so expensive i'm already kind of against kids um i feel like at first kids were cool i wouldn't have mine kits if they were just a little bit cheaper and they had gameplay but it's just clutter shit and now it's like getting even worse because they're trying to do in-game store stuff with this business model and again i said in my other videos that i didn't have a problem because i did like the sims 3 store but the sims 3 wasn't too crash grabby compared to the sims 4 because the expansion packs came with loads of stuff that's why i don't understand when people say oh this needs to be its own thing so it can get more detail i think that's such a just weird response just because uh for example the sims 3 supernatural it came with a new world it came with a bunch of new occults um new gameplay everything right and it was for a 40 dollars price tag 
but with the sims 4 they cut up dlc um and the worlds are smaller and it's like very linear and not as detailed as it was back in the day it makes no sense that people defend stuff like this and now it's it's getting worse because they're going to do microtransactions bro it, it doesn't matter if the game's free to play they're going to find another way to take money from our pockets it's always going to be like that and it's very very concerning to say the least i don't understand how the sims got to this point where they're just they just don't care no they do care they care about taking our money but that's it and it, it sucks bro it, it really does and again i feel like they just don't respect the players i feel like they treat the players like shit they don't like you know respect them enough to do right by them and again everything's up in the air like we don't have obviously all the information who knows maybe this might be like the best thing i did say with the whole subscription based video if you haven't watched that please do that the only way i would be okay with a subscription type of thing and again this is a free-to-play game so don't confuse that with what i'm saying i'm just saying there might be something where they might do like a season's pass um or whatever whatever and this is all just speculation this is just all my opinion um i did say the only reason why i would be okay with a subscription thing is if we were getting dlc within that subscription based thing and it would have to be like for a very very low price and then if they had the store on the side where you can like buy individual stuff that would be cool but at the same time there's a lot of cons with that because then it feels like we're not owning the game um it feels like we're just renting it at blockbuster you know what i mean <laughs> and i don't know if that's like something i would want um it's i don't know bro i just i don't know paying that 4.99 a month or whatever it's just i don't know if that's something i would want to do and who knows like there might be seasons pass or something like that then we have the sims 5 store and then we have like the actual packs and who knows are they going to keep doing the game pack and and kit and stuff pack uh you know um business model or are they going to change it but yeah um very very uh yeah this is this is not a good day for simmers bro um, i'm gonna be honest this is very very scary and concerning but with that being said if you made it to the end of this video i appreciate you thank you guys so much for the support on the channel the comments everything i greatly greatly appreciate it this is your boy superior simmer stay cool stay awesome stay simming and have a good day